the next talk is on um, bradycardia and um, pacemakers and, and a little bit on defibrillators, but not too much. So just a refresher, um, this is the conduction system. I think we've talked a little bit about the AV node and the bundle of Hiss, the bundle branches, um, and then the sinus node. There's a little uh, connection between the right and left atrium called Bachman's bundle that helps get the, the signal over to the left atrium rapidly. As you know, there's neural regulation of the cardiac conduction system. As you know, the vagus nerve slows things down, including the pacemaker cells, including the sinus node and the AV node, and it slows AV node conduction. Vagus nerve has very little effect on the ventricle. So the his Purkinje system is really relatively insensitive to the vagal, uh, vagus nerve. Sympathetic nerves, um, they speed things up accelerates the sinus node, um, accelerates the AV node conduction. Again, has very little effect on the his Purkinje system in general. So most of these, the nervous system affects really like the AV node and the sinus node. Um, the coronary circulation is important, especially for adults that have MIs. Um, and it's just good to kind of know like where things get the blood flow from. So the sinus nodal artery usually comes from the right coronary artery. The AV nodal artery also usually comes from the right coronary artery. And then the right and left bundles usually receive their blood supply from the uh, left descending coronary septal perforators. So in, in certain forms of coronary artery injury, you can almost predict what's going to happen to the conduction system. There are some, and I put in parentheses, benign causes of bradycardia that you might get called for for consults, like, oh, there's a pause or there's a gap or there's some kind of dysrhythmia. Um, one of those is what's called non-conducted PACs. So if you're looking at the monitor and you see a gap, um, you can sometimes find a little P wave that doesn't get conducted and that could cause bradycardia. Sinus arrhythmia, which could be really profound in like young, healthy adolescents. So sometimes you'll get consulted for that. And then sinus bradycardia with junctional escape. This is not always benign, but it kind of depends on like when it occurs and also, you know, to what degree is, is their sinus node slowing.